Hey guys, I'm going to do a night routine with Claudia. Um, I've done a few of these I know before, but it's just really fun to try to film some different things with her since she is a bigger baby. So right now, she's just playing on the floor and then she's watching Dora on Netflix just on my laptop. So yeah, I'll turn it down for a second so I can talk to you guys for a minute. So, right now she's just wearing her hair in this little bow, and then she's wearing this shirt that says Grandma and Grandpa's Little Deer. And then she's wearing these brown, like, cargo pants with Dora socks, and then for toys she has this little elephant or straddle that she really likes. And then her bottle cap is over there, and then she has this little the doll rattle. She's a little old for rattles, but she still likes to play with them. And then this Peter Rabbit one, and then... She has some towers of a little stackable cup she's been making, and then she has a little bird thing. And this used to be one of those car seat toys with the chime thing on it, but it annoyed me so much that I just uh, cut it off, and then just a little bird stuffed animal now. She just has some links in her teeth there, and then she has a little four ounce bottle of uh, water, it has like Barney on it, so. She's been drinking that, so she we've just kind of been winding down from after dinner and just kind of hanging out, just watching Dora, and then she's gonna keep playing and stuff. And the, um, while she's doing that, I'm gonna get her stuff, like all her stuff, ready for bed and set out. Like I already have like her outfit and stuff, but I just need to get a few more things ready and prepared so yeah she's just playing right now and I'll let you guys know when we are ready to give her a bath. Claudia has gotten a little bit tired from playing and so I've taken her uh, clothes and jewelry off. I just have her diaper on and I realize there's a hole in her body. So I think I'm gonna, after I'm done giving her a bath, before I change her, I'm gonna have to sew it while it's on here. Just like, kind of grip it together, it's so sad. I guess you can't really trust Bountiful Baby Bunnies. Once I have the money, I'm gonna get all of, well, Claudia and Carly, um, since Kayla has the torso and her body's fine, I'm gonna, I mean her, the little section she has a, has a body is fine, but once I have the extra money, I'm going to get Claudia and Carly a custom body from a, a Shell's Baby. Shell's Babies, I think. Most of you guys probably know who I'm talking about. So we are just going to give Claudia a bath, and then after I give her a bath, I'm going to fix up her arm, and I think it might be just because I hold her a lot. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just gonna go give her a bath. I have Claudia's bath ready. Um, this is just some like lukewarm water in the sink and I mixed a little bit of the baby soap in here. And after, and I have her new Elmo washcloth and a Q-tip and a comb for her hair later. And then I'm actually gonna wash her hair. And Claudia has decided to be silly and she is wearing her mommy's shower cap. Claudia is done getting her just like basic bath and now I'm going to wash her hair. So what I did was just I just wiped her down with a washcloth and then I used a q-tip and cleaned in her ears and then so she has an open nose I kind of put them a little bit up there and like swabbed and if your reborn has open eyes you want to make sure if you are bathing them or cleaning their eyes that you do not use any water near the eyes because what happened, why Claudia's eyes had to get fixed, because I thought you could clean it with water, like with a wet q-tip. Um, we can't do that because what the artists do usually is put a glaze over the eyes, and the glaze can peel from the water, so you don't want to do that. So now I'm going to take her hair out and wash it. So what I do to wash her hair is I wrap the towel around her body, especially real tight around the neck and I just wet it at first and then just shampoo and condition it like you would any other per like a normal person's hair or anyone else's hair. 
um, and you want to make sure that uh, if you want to shampoo the reborn hair, you probably should contact their artist about that because some sealants aren't as strong as others that artists use and the hair can differ, so. Yeah, and if you want to wash their hair, only do it at most once a month, so. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and wash her hair. Claudia is done with her bath, um, and I gave her a little bit of her surgery. So what I did is I just found a color and you can't even tell it's a different color really. It's a little bit darker. You can't even really tell. But just kind of stitched it all the way and there's like I think it start it starts a little bit further down but I can't obviously go through the joint that far so I went as far as I could. I kind of stretched it but she's good as new. I'm going to put this lotion on her it's Huggies, uh, Lavender, and whatever that says. And then I think I'm going to, um, then I'm going to change her, uh, put her in a nude diaper. And I'm actually going to throw this one away because it's getting a little, uh, pilly. I found that the pampers get really, like, pilly really easily. It's kind of big on her, too. So I'm just going to change her into this. Minnie Mouse pull up. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder on her, so I'll show you guys once I'm done with that. Put Claudia in her pull up, and then I put the lotion on her and put powder on, like in her diaper. And now I'm gonna put her earrings back in. They're just these little yellow owl ones, and then put her bracelet back on, which was mine when I was a baby. And then put a, this white onesie on her, and then this uh, sleeper with the little hippos on it. And I'm also going to, this, it like, used to be the detangling spray, but I, like, it ran out, so what I have in it is the diluted baby clone. She is all ready for bed. She's got her sleeper on, her earrings in, and her here all done. I'm going to be making her a bottle. I'm going to be using this 10 ounce pink flowered nook bottle. So I have um, 8 ounces of bottle uh, of water. Sorry, the, this bottle is kind of gross. I need to clean it. But I'm going to figure I can just clean it when I'm done feeding her. So uh, for an 8 ounce bottle you need 4 scoops of formula. Now I'm going to just put the cap on the bottle and shake it up and then just put a bib on her. Um, she normally doesn't use bib when she drinks from her bottle because she's pretty good with it and she doesn't really spit up so I'm just going to put it on her because I don't want her outfit to get messed up. So Claudia has her bib on and then have her bottle all made so I'm going to give it to her. Yeah she's just going to have a little bottle. She has been good about um, not needing her passy as much, so that's good. So she's definitely cut down on using that, which I like. So yeah, sometimes if she's have if she's like really fussy or she's having trouble napping or she's just cranky or sick, she'll have it. Or if she has trouble like falling asleep, she'll get it. But she's been really good about not taking it out, so that's good. It's like a piece of glitter in her ear, and it's really annoying me. <laughs> it's like a tiny piece of glitter, and I cannot get it up. She's just gonna finish her bottle, and um, I'll get to you guys. I will get back to you guys when she is finished. So Claudia is finished with her bottle. I'm not gonna be reading the book on the video. I'm just gonna read it to her. But it's called Harriet, and it's about like a little hamster that escapes her cage, so yeah, Claudia's just right here. She's wrapped in her pink blanket and she's got her little taggy with her. So I'll let you guys know when we're finished reading the book. Sorry for the close-up. I'm just cuddling with Claudia before she goes to sleep. Um, she really liked the book since we have two guinea pigs. She liked me reading to her about the hamster, so yeah, I'm just gonna cuddle with her, and she sometimes falls asleep when I just lay down with her. I just have, like, quiet times. 
we'll see. Claudia is really drowsy now, so something that she's uh, been liking to do before she goes to bed is uh, say goodnight to her sisters and also to Liam, so she's just gonna go give him a kiss. So here's Carly, she's wearing this little red and white striped sleeper, so Claudia's gonna say goodnight to her, so I'll take her passy out. Sorry if you guys can't see. Claudia's just gonna give her a hug. Oh, good girl, Claudia. She said goodnight to Carly. Here's Miss Kayla. Sorry, you guys can't really see her. Just want it to be dark so Claudia can fall asleep easier. She's gonna give her a hug. Oh, and a kiss. Good girl. So sweet. It's a big kiss, Claudia. She's so sweet. Okay. So, now we are going to lift up Claudia. Put her in her bed. She likes to put, collect things and put them in her bed. So she's got some toys in here. So I'm just gonna lay her blanket, lay her in here and cover her up. Okay, so she's in her car seat and she's covered up and she has her taggy and her little, little people toy. It's so cute. Oh, I'll show you this in the haul that's upcoming, so. Yeah. So she's about to go to sleep. I'll be asleep soon. And she has her little night light over here, so I'm just gonna turn that on for her. So she, oops, sorry. It's like blinding on the camera. She should be asleep soon. And thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want me to do a night routine with the other babies, or have any other requests of Claudia, or the other babies, or all of them, let me know. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.